Welcome back painting friends. Today we are gonna paint a cute little Christmas moose. The colors you're gonna need are a light blue, white, brown, red, green, a cream color, yellow, and black. I'm gonna stick with my favorite brushes. This is my one inch flat brush as well as my 10, six, and one round brush. And since today is um, Shop Local Saturday, I have to tell you I bought this little cute guy at a local store here in uh, the Southern Indiana area called Regalo, and they have some of those over in Louisville too. So if you are a fan of cute little funky fun gift ideas, Regalo is an awesome place for you to go. Now, you're also gonna need a cup of cold water as well as a rag to keep your brushes clean. So let's get started. Um, I'm gonna start by painting my entire background with this light blue color, so the whole background. Now, as I'm doing this, I'm gonna paint in top to bottom lines and I'm gonna throw some white in there as I go. So I'm gonna have a little bit of variation of color. A lot of it's gonna be that light blue color, but you're also gonna have some of those streaks of white as you go through. After you have your background finished, you're actually gonna start at the bottom and you're gonna pull your brush all the way up just to smooth out any lines you might have or any weird brush strokes. It's also a great time that if you feel like you've got an area that's too dark, you can just throw a line of white in there, go over it one or two times, and then let it be. Perfect, I'm gonna take this brush wipe it off. I don't have to wash it off because I'm still going to stick with the same colors. And with that same brush, it's just wiped off. I'm going to take white paint and I'm going to have my brush going um, perpendicular. So normally I paint this way so that I get a long, a, lo a wide fat line. I'm going to go this way so I get a skinny line and I'm just going to add some straight lines in here. And I want these straight lines to be kind of small. I don't want them to be like the same distance from each other. So that means I don't wanna have like, you know, one inch here and one inch there. These are gonna be some trees in my background. Now from there, at the very top of these trees, I can go ahead and add in just a couple of branches. If you wanna to move to a smaller brush, you're more than welcome to. When you have your trees where you want them, you can wipe off your brush, wash it off, and set it to the side. We're gonna let this background dry, and when we come back, we will add in our mousse. This. With my picture being totally dry, I am now gonna go in with my number 10 round brush and some brown paint. And with that brown paint, I'm gonna actually grab just a little bit of white paint with it too, because I don't want it to be too dark. So let's lay out our mousse. We're gonna start back here with our body and his body's gonna kind of be coming off here and it's gonna go up into his neck and then down into his head. So I'm gonna start right here towards the center of my canvas and I'm gonna make just a curved line that just kind of gently curves up. Okay, so it curves up just past the center point of my canvas. Now from there, I'm gonna come this way just a little bit and make a curved line going down. So this is gonna be our moose's body. From here, I'm gonna go up and curve it down. That's gonna be the top of our moose's head. Now our moose, moose have really big noses, right? So down here, we're actually gonna make like a gigantic circle, okay? And that gigantic circle is gonna connect from here to here for our moose's nose and then it's gonna really kind of get skinny and back down. This whole area, we're gonna go ahead and paint in with that brown and white mix.
With our base color finished, I'm now gonna take my brush and I'm gonna have it be darker down at the bottom and lighter up at the top on both his nose and his belly. So while my paint is still wet, I'm just gonna go right in and add some of those darker areas. And you can choose to kind of smooth yours out or you can choose to give him a little bit of texture by just kind of taking your brush and kind of tapping it on his body. So if you like the idea of the texture, you could do that. I'm gonna keep mine smooth. His whole neck is gonna be a little bit darker because it's, you know, under his body, so there'd be a shadow. And then as I am pulling this up towards the top, I'm not gonna add any more brown. I'm just gonna let it kind of slowly, gently fade into that white. And I'm gonna go ahead and add some more white up here for that. I'm just gonna bring those colors together. And all that takes is just some patience with your brush and kind of smoothing them out. Let's do the same thing with his big old nose. take that brush I can wipe it off to get some of the excess paint off and let's add in our little um, moose ears so I'm gonna use straight brown with my moose ears and this one just gonna kind of pop out over to this side small little loop and my other one's gonna just be popping out over here same thing small little loop Go ahead and wipe that brush off. I don't have to wash it off, but I am gonna switch over to that cream color. So we're gonna put our little moose ears in. So my first moose ear is going to kind of come starting right here by the ear, okay? And it is going to go up and down like a curved line. And then at the top, we're just gonna make some of those little moose bumps. So this is where um, I like to say my, my students at school like to make like wavy lines. So that's kind of what we're doing is we're just making a really wavy line. And you can paint that whole moose ear in it. I don't mind the brown already being on my brush. I think it gives it a great color, which is why I didn't wash my brush off and why I'm okay to have it mix in with a little bit of that ear paint. And then the same thing over here. Okay, this ear is gonna be a little harder because it's kind of on the other side. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start over here behind his ear and we're gonna go up and then we're gonna make our bumps kind of going this way off the canvas. And then his little moose ear can squeeze right on behind it. Now, it's up to you if you wanna give your moose a collar or not. I am gonna give my moose a collar. So I'm gonna take a little bit of red paint and just give him a small little curve on his neck. I'm gonna switch over to my number six round brush I'm gonna add a black circle right here for his name tag to sit on. And then with some white paint, I'm just gonna make what's gonna be a little name tag. So maybe a little oval shaped name tag right here. We'll add his name on there later.
Now, while we're waiting for this to dry a little bit, we can go ahead and add our snowflakes into the background. So what I like to do is use the back of a paintbrush that's got like a really great end to it and just take some white paint and just drop some snowflakes. And those snowflakes can absolutely be just in your background or you can have them be dropping on top of your mousse as well. So that's up to you if you want any that are kind of coming oh, on top of his body or if you want to keep them all in the background. Okay, we're gonna let this guy dry when we come back we are gonna finish up our mousse with his face details and his ornaments with our dry background let's go ahead and add in some details so now I'm gonna take a little bit of red paint and do a zigzag line on my reindeer's collar not my reindeer my mousse's collar Wash that brush off, wipe it off. I'm gonna use some black paint on that same brush. And I'm gonna make just a small curved line right here for his eye. I can go ahead and fill in the center of his ears with a little black daub of color. And then his nose is almost like a kidney shape. So it's going to be like rounded at the top, skinny in the middle, rounded at the bottom. We can give him a small little smile right here. He's just going to kind of curve into a small smile that connects to his face. Oh my gosh, it's looking so cute. And then let's add in some of our ornaments. So I'm gonna switch over to my itty bitty brush, my smallest brush to make my ornament um, strings. So I've got my one, number one round brush. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to make some lines down and this is really where you need to think, okay? So I have got four people in my family plus two dogs. I'm probably gonna put the dog's names on here. But I'm gonna make four ornaments and I'm probably going to put three on this one and two on this one. I'm sorry, three on this one and one on this one because I want to be able to write everybody's name on there. So I'm going to make one ornament that goes right here and it's going to be a little bit of a shorter ornament. My next one will go right here and I'm going to make it a long one. If these straight lines stress you out with a paintbrush, you can always do these later on with a Sharpie or a paint marker. All the choices when you're painting. I'm actually gonna go ahead and also give my collar a little bit more of a coverage to it. I don't wanna see that blue through it. All right, now these ornaments. You can make your ornaments any color you want. Um, you can make them any shape you want. I'm gonna show you two different shapes, two different colors, so you have an idea. So with my number 10 round brush, I can use some red paint and I can make the classic circle, right? Classic circle ornament. Now, if you're noticing that your um, blues are showing through too much, you can always paint these white first or you can always give it a second coat of red paint. The other option is to do a football shaped one. So that, that means that it's kind of like pointed at the top, pointed at the bottom. See that? Wash my brush off and I'm gonna go in with my green now.
Now these look kind of dull right now, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some highlights to them. First of all, if your green is too dark green for you, like for me, I love lime green, you can go in with some yellow in the center and really kind of brighten that green up. And just make sure that as you kind of go out towards the edge of the ornament, it gets a little bit darker. And that would be the same idea with your football shape one. Just add some in the middle there. Just kind of keep going around it like you would when we paint our leaves. Perfect. Now for the red, we would do the same thing, but we would use just a very small amount of white. We don't want to make it super pink, okay? So just a very small amount of white. I'm just kind of pulling that out towards the edge of the ornament. I'm gonna switch back over to my number six round brush and I'm gonna add some highlights to my ornaments now. And these highlights can be anything from like a curved line and a dot to a big fat line. I'm gonna go back and grab my itty bitty baby brush because I forgot that I wanted to add some little ovals to the top of this with a couple little lines coming off. So it looks like they're tied on to his little moose antlers. That same brush, I'm gonna use a little bit of yellow paint at the top of my ornament. And then let's talk about some highlights while these dry so we could put our names on them. So um, on your mousse, you could put highlights just about anywhere you want them to go. Um, maybe you wanna add a small highlight like around his nose just to kind of pop it out a little bit. Um, Maybe you want to add a small highlight just on the tip of his eyelash or around his ear. So these are just small little lines of white paint that just kind of add a pop to your mousse. Okay, let's let this dry and we come back, we will finish up our mousse. So with the dry background now, it's time for our words. Like I said before, you know, you could do these in Sharpie or you could do them with paint, that's totally up to you. Um, I think it's probably gonna be easier to use white over black, but it's your choice. So I'm gonna start out here with my name. I'm gonna put Mary with my white. And on my skinny little narrow ones, I'm gonna make them go top to bottom. My next one will be Bella. Tristan. Now Tristan's name is pretty long. So I think I'm probably gonna go ahead and I'll go across. We'll see what happens. Last but not least, Micah. All 
And I'm gonna switch over to Sharpie for my dog's names. So, their names are, oh, look at that, it's falling everywhere, Hayden. I mean, look how adorable this is. Don't forget that when you're finished, I never get to see what you're making at home unless you post it to our Facebook page, Painting with a Purpose. Remember, your last job is to find a color that's gonna show up well on your canvas and sign your name. Remember to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Painting with a Purpose, so you're kept up to date on all of our latest tutorials. And as always, stay kind, stay creative, and stay safe. Have a great day, friends. Bye now.